Hello, freaks and geeks, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Uh, for some reason, I was about to uh, say something else. But, anyways, this today on this episode, I'm gonna, um, my, okay, yeah, you go order food. Yes, yes, I, I hate, I hate how when if you walk in the proximity of an NPC, how they just automatically start talking. Anyways, what we're uh, planning on doing today is actually heading back to Hangman's Alley. And, um, after that, we are gonna go after this patrol, since we actually have Pal Palin Dance with us. So, we're gonna do that, at least, I mean, I've been thinking what to, what to do for this episode, and I'm wanting to, you know, do some side quests, do some non-story things, because, yeah, actually, hold on, I thought Dance was with us. Is Dan's not with us? Did I dismiss him? What's going on? Where did... Where... Okay. Paladin Dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Oh, I thought you was... Uh, already following. Oh, well, uh, Okay. Well, that makes a little bit more sense. Now, don't use this. What do you Actually... Actually, you know what? What I can do, uh, I can dismiss him and send him to Hangman's Alley. All right, in good power uh, armor fashion, let's uh, skip the loading zone. That feels nice. What? Did you get the memo that? <laughs> that uh, where's the active firing zone now? All right, let's uh, actually call a vertibird, and we uh, should be able to go to Hangman's Alley with relative ease. And as you can see, we have 15 more of these things, so we have plenty. Ah, there's our ride. Where exactly are you coming into land? Because um, they can be a little bit, you know, glitchy with where they land. Unless you put it in a very clear area, but this seems like a good spot. And let's go to Hangman's Alley. Uh, I do believe we should land just outside there, so. Or just outside of Hangman's Alley. Because, of course, you can't actually land in there. But yeah, with the. With these vertebrates, vertebrate, or uh, I can't even recreate what I just said there. <laughs> um, but yeah, with these vertebrate signal grenades, we can um, go to anywhere that we have already discovered, um, but not anywhere that we haven't discovered. Oh, women, super mutants. Is that was that it? I don't feel like that was everyone, but I mean, he heck. I mean, I was able to down one. Uh, we're gonna go through a building. We're quite high up now. <laughs> but yeah, I anyways, we can easily go back to... Uh... Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, yeah, we can easily go back to Sanctuary now. That Yeah, <laughs> I didn't have to just go back to the map and look it up. <laughs> Also, I like how Dance makes the comment about everything looking different. What the fuck? Uh, uh, where's the, where's the rocket launcher? I, I feel like it's behind me and I can't do anything about it. Ah, uh, did the super mutant respawn that has the rocket launcher? Alright, uh, hopefully nothing bad has spawned in Chaos Junction. Alright. Let's, uh, grab some hub flowers while we're right here. Looks like nothing has spawned in, uh, Chaos... Wait a minute, what's that? I don't... I don't trust that. 
Who are you? No, seriously, who are you? Okay, good, I didn't shoot the Brotherhood scribe. Or else Stance would probably be very upset at us if he ever found out. Oh. Alright, so we made it back here. Uh, we're... It's not really that great of a place right now, but I think we should do a little bit of maintenance to it. Um, how many people are actually here? Uh, only one. Oh, because, yeah, because I sent Dance here. Okay, so it's n not as many people as I thought was actually living here, which is actually good. Alright, let's, uh, hold on. Let me see if I still have those receivers, uh, lay laying around. I do believe I put them back. Ah, yes, I, I do. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put this standard receiver back on. Wait, wait, do we have a... Did, did it come with a comfort grip? Well, actually, hold on. Let me actually see what... Okay, yeah, we don't need a comfort grip or anything, but we could actually put this on here. To make it a... Yeah, to make Kedlock's pistol a bit more harder. Harder hitting. Your sights. Uh, oh, I guess it's only gonna... Wait, we don't actually have st the standard sights? Did I... Okay, yeah, I guess we don't. I don't know where those are, so... it's And it only cost one thing, so... Eh. Because, I mean, Kellogg's pistol... Yeah, it does... Huh. I wonder if I took the scope off of that one. Alright. So, this pistol is hard-hitting as possible. Unless we get, uh... Increased, or at least we increase our rank with gun nut, which I forget exactly how what our rank is. I think it's only still one so far. Yeah, and we need scientists for any uh, laser or laser rifle mod or anything, or laser, yeah, energy mod really. Uh, I guess we could upgrade our our pistol. Actually, no, we we need screws because yeah, there is some rank one mods that would actually increase the pistol damage a lot let's actually take a look at uh okay yeah we're lacking the screws but we can up this to 80 now i'm pretty sure that's because we have the increased damage and or with the perk with the pistol perk i'm forgetting a uh, gunslinger or whatnot yeah, the thing about the... This seems like it does more actual damage. I, w I wonder if it's because it also... If it also goes through armor better than the... Uh, than this pistol. Which, speaking of, I am going to retire, retire this uh, normal pistol to... Yes. As this is basically the same thing, but uh, with a legendary effect. Although... Not the greatest, but it's still something. Anyways, let's uh, do some uh, uh, settlement maintenance. So, done a little work and planted some crops. I uh, already had water established and uh, created this little sleeping quarters up here. Uh, this is very highly acceptable to, like, with the floors and everything. Um, and I just noticed that they're not exactly aligned correctly, which is going to bother me. And I bet bother a lot of you. And also, I ran out of material, mater, materials. There we go. Um, <laughs> so that's why this is, like, you know, not completed whatsoever. This is completely, you know, uh, subject to change, and it will change. And also, I'm going to try to, you know, make this not a floating thing, floating mass. But, yeah, uh... Did a little bit of the maintenance. Uh, don't know exactly where Dance is, but uh, I figured I should go ahead and eat and drink, have a night's rest, and possibly go on the mission. Uh, go on the uh, the mission that we've been or that I've been wanting to uh, 
do with them. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Now the real question is, is dance here? Paladin and dance. Uh, I wonder if he's glitched. Cause he should have arrived by now. I mean, dog meat's here. Well, since we uh, well since we can't find Paladin dance. Let's just go ahead and... I mean, I didn't want to exactly do a story mission, but... I mean, might as well kind of finish what we started with this and... And yeah, just go ahead and finish this. We don't exactly have to follow Nick to the memory den or to Good Neighbor. Although, I wouldn't mind actually going to Good Neighbor and that part of uh, town. Because there, there is one thing I would like to grab while we're in the neighborhood. All the businesses are closed down. Uh, oh, what time is it? Big How did you know it's the Brotherhood of Steer Steel, huh? Well, I mean, I guess they've been on the loudspeaker speaker whenever they first came in saying, We are the Brotherhood of Steel! So, I mean, I kind of answered my own question there. Uh, Nikki, I'm just asking for your opinion. I didn't listen to the radio. Not to snoop on a man's private affairs. Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And, and not with your son. What happened? Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Um, it's, it's your fault. Uh, uh, I... It, sure. I didn't make it in time. Kellogg was working with the Institute, and he... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. No, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the organization. <laughs> While they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, the sad thing is. <laughs> oh my god, that line! I, I've been I love, I love being slightly sarcastic throughout this uh, well, playthrough. Man. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day. There's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a um, murderer and kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Mm. I asked a question. I expect you to answer me, Nick. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with that? I have to go to the memory den either way. I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head there on my own. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're going to I thought Pepper was already available. 
to most. be my companion. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the pub with the community. Yay! We le reached a new level. That actually was a good thing I came here then, in that case. Because we can take Gunnut 2, and I'm pretty sure we would want to actually do that. Uh, I mean, there is Critical Banker. Yeah, Gunnut 2 is, is going to be worth it in the long run. More so because, I mean, the only the only reason why I'm kind of debating or not to take it right now is because of the whole thing about resources and scrap. You <laughs> NPCs breaking the door. I wonder if Pals and Dance is actually back at the um back at the uh, Hangman's Alley now. <laughs> Head on inside. I'm leaving. Diamond City is nothing me, my boys, oh wow, I thought the game was about to crash there for a second. <laughs> Oh, look, there's Dance, finally. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? I for I mean, it, it's, op yeah, it, the stores are open now. Even then, the, that one junk store is open 24-7. I, I forgot to get some junk with screws. Uh. Alright, I just spent about 300 caps on, I was about to say dollars. <laughs> about 300 caps on, uh, on junk, so... And most of it was screws based. Uh, I bought some things with gears because I'm pretty sure we need that as well. But once we actually, I mean, it's it's not on my top of the list of priorities, but I definitely need to up my charisma enough to to be able to get local local leader and then to then have a settlement or to be able to connect, connect settlements via caravans and stuff and it just it will make my life a, a whole bunch of e easier or a whole lot easier words the game freezes right there for some reason like right in that exact spot I'm a, I'm a little afraid that it's a it's, it's gonna crash one of these days right there and it's actually not that I haven't experienced that before it's weird it's only been since the new updates which I mean yeah I think the updates are breaking a little things more than they're, they're fixing <laughs> the fucking timing on that Let's see, uh, we're gonna need to put a 50 cal, I mean, even then, a 50 cal isn't really, it makes it so much heavier. Uh, let's see, it's 70 right now if we, or, sorry, I'm looking at the value. It's 10.9 if we put the 50, yeah, it ups the weights up a lot. Now, granted, that's, uh, gun nut 3, but we can easily boost our way up there here soon. I think Gun Nut is 3 is not that far off. So 80 is the best that we can do. Oh, okay. So even we can't even improve this. Okay. I see. Uh now, can we actually get this damage up? A uh, hardened receiver. Ooh, powerful. Yes. I think we're going to go with this powerful receiver. So, with the shotgun, because then this shotgun is so handy to have. So, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade this to a powerful receiver. Uh, what's the advantages of a long barrel? Just more more range and accuracy. That would use up the rest of my screws. What we could also do um, is... Let's see, calibrated... Okay, now we're running into a problem where we don't have enough aluminum and oil. Because we can technically do this and boost the boost it up to... I, I would have actually bought some more, more stu other stuff with this in here. Kind of don't want to go back at this point, but... Uh, shut up, Dance. Medical 
better critical shot and accuracy. You know, I think I will go for that right for right now. I may actually upgrade it to this uh, the advanced receiver. Uh, m more sensitive trigger, better rate of fire, but I don't know if it's armor penetration. Okay, but that's also an auto receiver. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna go with this because of the better critical shot. Uh, yeah, let's put a. Let's see, that actually. Oh my God! Shut up, dance. You're constantly talking in my ear, and it's getting annoying at this point. A long light barrel. I mean, I don't really see what's the downside of this, really. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually do this. And we can't do anything else. Yeah. Alright. But we upgraded our gun for the most part, so... Um, I guess we could have... And actually, no, we don't have enough aluminum, so... But we have a good amount of adhesive, but that we can quickly go through that. Where Where are you? Oh. You're just... Ta <laughs> You're... <laughs> I didn't expect to find you over there working with a hammer. Like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, dance. Um, hold on. Do, would I have enough carry capacities? Because it will cut down to 222, I think. Uh, hold on. Let me put some stuff in here. Oh yeah, I forgot. You also have a rocket launcher. I need to take away from you. A lot of ground to cover. Paladin, ready to continue our mission, soldier? Uh, hold on. Very well. Help yourself. Yeah, I need to snatch that uh, missile launcher from you. Oh yeah, there's one thing I forgot to do. Alright. After renaming some of our guns, very with some very un unoriginal names, I will have... For, you know, we'll have you. Make good time the <laughs> yeah, speaking of... Paladin Dance. Yeah. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Was you about to go back hammering away at that piece of board? Ready. Roger that. All right, yeah, come with me. Yeah, our yeah, our carry weight dramatically went down to 222. Oh, I just realized I was thirsty, so. You know, I forget that's an easy way to just easily build affinity with dance. Uh, is there any... Ah, I'll take this water. But yeah, that's an easy way to build affinity with, uh, with dance. It's just to keep on getting in and out of your par power armor. I don't think you can... Uh, I mean, there, you can easily abuse it, but it's not like you can just hop in and out, in and out like that. But. Let's get another vertibird uh, ride. We're over here. Oh, I forget that you're that he also likes it whenever you get inside the vertebrate as well. All right, so the closest point we we can actually get to would probably be yeah. I'd probably say uh well, I actually, we need to go back to Tim Pines Bluff anyway, so it uh, might be a little bit more out of the way. But yeah, let's let's fast travel there. Uh, what the car? I saw car physics are really out of control ever since the new update. Where is that fire coming from? Or is it just a f distant fight that I'm not a part of? I would rather not be a part of that. A another car! It's Is it because it's like the they load in before the actual mesh of the bridge does or something? And that's why they just fall through the hole? I don't know. Or the bridge?
Now let's not forget that this part of the map is dangerous. Ooh, Kato's. Uh, y yes, uh, I took care of him. I took care of him. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if he came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, Fred. How did you recognize me anyways? Because I'm in power armor. We gotta remember that this part of the map is also dangerous as well, so... To be honest, I might not actually finish this, uh... What the fuck is this? Wait, what is a random... Protectron... Doing? Is there any more? Oh, there's a mole rat. What? What is going on? Ah! I think your animation got a little bugged there. All right, I don't exactly want to run, so this is probably gonna take a bit just walking my way <laughs> over there. But we're probably gonna run into stuff because you know this is. Fallout 4 and random encounters are plenty. And if not random encounters, just random enemies just spawning and whatnot. Oh yeah, that's the graveyard. I do not want to go to the graveyard. At least I feel like I don't want to go to the graveyard because bad things happen at the graveyard. Oh, hello some rag stags. I'm gonna shoot you now. Yeah, that looks painful. I'm sorry. Was that just the... Oh, huh. That, that's very weird. Like, there was only one... One mongrel, one... Uh, mole rat, and now only one... Rad stack. That's kind of odd how everything... Uh, spawned in one pair. Or in pairs of one. Or... Just one. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're alone. I don't even... Oh! Oh! Okay, that would probably explain some things. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, hopefully we didn't take that much damage because we're in bats. Ow! Okay, at least we got the meat. That could have been a lot worse. That could have actually been a lot worse. Oh my goodness. Also, again, one. Pairs of one. They're one rat scorpion. And also, again, one... Another dog, um, dog, but only in one. That's very, very strange. Oh, if I'm correct, if I'm correctly remembering, uh, yeah, there are super mutants, and I just use both of my criticals. Ah, shit. Wait, hold on, there's a blood bug? Uh, Was that the suicider running to blow up something else? Because I'm totally fine with that. Uh, what the... <laughs> what the hell is going on? Who, who's that? Uh, okay, old girl, L Lucas, L Lucas Miller. Uh, you're just walking away from the chaos like a badass. I okay. H hello there. Hello. Hey, Lucas. The best way to spend your cash is protecting your hide. My arm. 
that advice is free. Uh, you know what? Uh, hold on. Uh, there's a fight going on. <laughs> Your caravan god is currently fighting someone and you don't give a shit. What the hell? <laughs> uh. Oh. Uh. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Holy shit! What what the hell is this? Don't leave anything behind. Uh, what? Talk about random account. Yeah, just run back to your boss who's just walking away, and didn't give a shit. Oh my god. This, this game sometimes. Now where are the synths? Uh, because one of them might be legendary. Uh, no. Okay. Now I would actually pick up the the laser rifles and everything, but I I don't need them at this point. Where's the other? I honestly have no idea, and I'm not gonna spend that much time looking. Dance? What did you just do? I seen you just teleport or disappear right in front of my eyes. There might be some ghouls though. Oh yes, th there is gonna be some ghouls. Do we have anything? We do have some Molotovs. Fragmentation. Okay, that's not exactly where I wanted to put it, but whatever. Dance have that one. Dance has that one. <laughs> Good job. Is there... Okay, yeah, there's still more. I want to pick up the can. Oh, there. Okay, yeah, there's the ghouls. Build up a critical, shall we? Uh. <gasps> Who the fuck? Okay, then, I guess you're just gonna ask for death. And I will oblige. Hold on, uh, hold on. I... Critical on you. I mean, you kind of asked for this. Just saying. I mean, uh, <laughs> I asked who are you and they started fucking shooting. What the hell? I didn't want violence. Was it because we were in power armor? <laughs> Well, I mean, Skid for Ad isn't unrecognizable anymore, so, I mean, yellow slicker hat, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna take this as a trophy. Oh yeah, we have to tune in on the distraction, dis what? No, no, not the caravan one. Yeah, this one. Cause I, okay, yeah, it, well, oh, it's in this house. Or, is it a, no, it's not a house, it's some type of building, though. Where's the... there it is. Explosion tore this building apart. Causing a high yield detonation. Look at the blast power. Yes, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to bring Dan here, is because he will make comments like that. Look, you can still make out the insignia. The recon team was here. The damage, it's deliberate. They set the fusion cores in their armor to overload. That's what caused the blast, but why? Over here. Yes, let's uh, listen to this tape, uh, so we can get some more uh, dialogue from Tense. Ambushed on the road. We're outnumbered. Five. 
Marker one. Bottom report. Force down to five percent. We'll have to scuttle the armor. We can't let them have it. Fire him. Damn it! Aspen set the self destruct. Ferris, slow back. We'll head for the old military base, then try to make it to our holdout. The code will be our call sign. All right, move, move, move! Nothing? Okay, I, I thought he was going to say something else. No choice. Oh, he is. No armor and no supplies. Their odds of survival were low. But that was the right decision. Technology must be protected. No matter the cost. The recon team made it this far. Let's try to follow their trail from here. Alright, yeah. I was about to say, is it... I for... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was actually in the... In the, um... Recording we just listened to. But, uh... That we know to go to this place, so... That's where we're headed. Oh no! Why? Why another red scorpion? Uh. Did I? Do I? Okay, yeah, I still get, get to keep my critical. What? What is it with these rats? What? Why? Let me guess, there's only one bloat fly. Over here, huh? Is that what you're gonna tell me? Hey, bloat fly. You're, you have, why have you not noticed me yet? The enemy's not spawning in pairs now, they're spawning all over the fucking place. Let's try this. Yeah, that's actually good. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking hell. Oh my goodness. This is this is madness. This is literal madness. Ah! Okay. Just My god. <laughs> oh. Just die turrets. Just die. How did you miss that? Is there like another turret somewhere? Oh yeah, you're up there. What's in, what's putting us in caution? Oh. I see. Ooh, civil park pocket watch. All right, so this can be a pretty dangerous area sometimes. I can say that again. Alright, uh... Okay. We don't have any leg... We don't have any legendaries at this point. So that's actually kind of good. Dance, what are you doing right in front of me? Oh, that was very dramatic. That's actually good that we didn't get any legendaries, it seems like. Oop, viable blood sample, there we go. Oh, another viable blood sample, yay!
military grade duct tape. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. This is an emotional moment for you. She was in my company years ago. Best marksman I ever saw. Nightera Aslan, Brotherhood of Steel, Recon Team 429 Alpha, serial number 3431. It's been three hours since I set my distress pulser. There's been no word from the Paladin or Ferris. Their objective was a satellite array on the coast. They may be out of range. My orders were to hold this position at all costs. The entire site has been overrun. The door won't last much longer. Paladin Brandis, sir. It's been an honor, sir. Well done. They should have ordered my time. Made it a proper outpost. There was not enough time. Aslan paid the price. We got another lead. Let's move out. Ooh, this man. Uh, let me take a quick nap in one of these uh in one of these so I can drop a save real quick. Oh, of course that made me tired. <clears throat> yeah, see, like if you sleep or whatnot and then get into your power armor and then go back to sleep and get back into your power armor, yeah, I think you can just build up your affinity with dance like that, oh, na kind of naturally. Not naturally, but j that's a way you can abuse it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow. You're alright with your leg there. But yeah, I think I'm gonna... I know this is gonna be a short part once I you know, edited it all down and stuff, but I just kind of need to... It kind of got late in the day. I needed to quickly do this recording, and uh, and I... It's getting a little bit late in the night, so yeah. I just... I need to stop it here, but... I hope I hope you uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we will definitely get done with this uh, mission uh, next time. Although I think one of the reasons why I am stopping it here, though, is because the what's going up, what's coming up next, is a difficult part of the uh, difficult part of the uh, quest. Uh, taking out the super mutants at the satellite uh, at that satellite place. Uh, to be fair. You wouldn't normally know that, you know, the super mutants are there, but uh, as someone who has played this uh, camp, or not campaign, but this mission a few times, or this quest a few times, I know for a fact that the super mutants there are quite a pain to deal with. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's, it's gonna be fun for next time, and I, I think this is gonna be a good stopping, stopping point for us. Uh, so, uh, before, you know, so I can then actually get some proper recordings done, but, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode, though, sorry it was, again, on the shorter end, it probably will still be around 30 minutes or so, which, eh, I guess it will, is decent, uh, that's what I'm going for, around 30 minutes to an hour long parts-ish, so, yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like, and if you want to see more episodes like this, or, yeah, more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button, and, yeah, I'll see you freaks and geeks later. Bye. Bye.